Hey everyone, it's Matt again with another video, and today I'm going to be talking you, to you about my personal experiences with Nylon X versus Persimmon's brand new carbon fiber polycarbonate. So to get things started, I'm just going to give you a little rundown of what these three nuts are. These are uh, 3D printed 7 8 18 nuts that I use for my own use. Now this one here is the Nylon G. Figured I'd try it out at the same time, but I don't, I don't really use this as often as anything, so I'm just gonna kind of put it over there. And the reason I don't like using it is because it's like with the nylon X here, when I thread it on, it threads on nice and smooth, no problems there at all. But when I use the nylon G. Got a little bit more of a grip to it, which is fine. Like there's nothing wrong with it. It's just it's got a little bit more grip than glides, so that's why I tend not to use it very much. Um, but this here is the uh, carbon fiber polycarbonate that just got released from Prusa. Uh, fits like a dream. Got no problem with it at all. If I can get it started here. There we go threads on beautifully. Now, full disclosure, the only difference between these two are I have modified the bottom a little bit, and that was kind of going into my next part here. Um, ease of printing. Now, I kept hearing all over the internet, uh, Nylon X is great, you're just gonna make sure you get the glue stick on there and it'll stick really well. But I have yet to get a print that didn't have some kind of a wobble to it. And this one here, I can spin like a top. So it's outrageously high centered to the point even the sides here must be a little bit uh, warping up. I've done everything I can think of to, to negate it. I've done... I've dried the filament, used different types of glue, I've used a uh, heated enclosure I built, nothing. It wouldn't matter what. So when I went to make a big array of these in um, the carbon fiber nylon, the Nylon X here, um, not every single one, but a lot of them would suddenly have a little bit of a lift on one part. and. It wasn't exactly useless, right? But I'd like a little bit of consistency. Uh, so that got me to printing this uh, one here, which I literally just did not, I don't know, an hour ago as of filming this video. Um, the story behind this, uh, I was lucky enough to able to secure a roll of this stuff. I guess it's brand new, it just got released. Uh, when I checked it out, the site said, nope, we're out of stock. So I signed up for the little email reminder thing, and I guess an hour went by. I got an email saying it's available. I uh, you know, got a roll. I had it shipped out. Just got it the other day. And since then, I guess it's been out of stock. So lucky for me for getting in when I did, I guess. But uh, like I said, I just printed this nut here and I will show that to you right now. Now the real print time for that was like 45 minutes-ish, but uh, visually there was no lifting, no curling, everything feels nice and snug and flat, and like I said before, everything, if I can get it started, you know, fits on, fits on wonderfully. Um, the red dots here, uh, that's just a little bit of nail polish I put on there just so I can visually know what settings I've made this in so I can just immediately deal with that in the future. But I printed this as well in the same 
Now this and this have the same G code. Well, not the same G code, sorry. This is the same file, different G code, because this has a preloaded set of uh, parameters in Prusa Slicer. But when I press the corners, got no kind of lift. If I turn it, it does slide around, but I don't know if that, that just, fe it feels to me like it's just yet sitting on the table flush. It doesn't feel like there's any kind of lifting to it. Uh, the bottom looks great. Uh, I did use a little bit of glue, uh, some magic glue, um, just because I've been burned before, as you can see, but yeah, I know it should not be doing that. Right, A little bit of a lift in the corner is fine, but this is something else entirely. And like I said, I've tried everything I can think of and read forum posts and you know, to no end, you know, it is what it is, right? But going forward, I'm going to be using the Prusament polycarbonate nylon stuff. Not nylon, sorry. Prusament polycarbonate uh, carbon fiber. There you go. Um, I know they say it's black, but it's got more of a gray look to it, which personally I think it looks a little sharper than the Nylon X. Uh, the Nylon X has got a bit of a bit of a sheen to it. I don't know if you can really see that, which is completely fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But this one's got much more of a duller uh, gloss to it, kind of thing. Uh, I don't know. You might be you might think differently, but I. I think this looks better, um, it prints better, and the other thing is the storage. I don't have to store this in dry boxes, I don't have to print this from a dry box, I don't have to make sure this has all the tubing and so on and so forth. This one has a lot more uh, work involved in keeping it uh, workable and usable, whereas this has much more ease of printing, and if memory serves me, it's more temperature resistant and stronger. So, win, 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 I guess, right? So, that's my little comparison between these uh, two materials. Um, I'm by no means a professional, I'm just kind of giving you my two cents for my experiences. Uh, if you like what you see here, give this video a nice thumbs up. Uh, as always, like and subscribe, and as always, till the next one, have a good one.